Alrighty righty, it is time to stream. And uh, we're basically just going to pick up right where we left off from last time. I don't know if you were watching last stream, but I was doing some stuff on Arrested Development, working on some stuff, color correcting things from the newest season. And then uh, I moved on over to this, which is just editing some old photos that I never really worked on <laughs> from... What is it, from February February at this point? Why is February spelled like that? No one says it like that, right? Everyone just says February. Because it's really hard to say February. So why do people say February? I don't know. Okay, but what's more important is that we're getting into this photo stream, photo editing stream. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm basically just trying to jump right into things really quickly and then edit as much as I possibly can and then go back to doing what I was doing before. So, I mean, this stream will probably only last like about an hour and I'm wasting my own time by talking about the stream. So, I'm not gonna do that. You know, what I was working on earlier today actually is, um, a year ago today, actually what day is it? I don't even know what the date is. It's July 2nd. So, a year ago today, I was still in Peru on my Peru trip which you've seen me edit a bunch of photos from like a million times before on the stream and uh, oh my my icon my my whatever you want to call it avatar my twitch avatar is from a photo that I took in Peru uh, of, of an alpaca <laughs> and then I put Mike McCarthy's face on it of course but oh, I like this one but uh, the the original photo comes from that trip on Peru so a year ago today I was still there and I've been doing some reflections and some like retrospectives on that because I've also, I use Google Photos a lot of the time. I think I've talked about it on stream before. It's so great. Google Photos is so great. If you're not using it, you must be using it. It's not like, it's just, I feel like it's the perfect backup system for just for backing up your photos. Obviously you should have like a, a hard drive as well, but even, even if you're not a photographer, because I was using Google Photos before I was into photography and it was great, and um, <clears throat> it, it's just so, it's such a great way to organize all of the photos and screenshots and everything that you've taken. Um, it's just so great. So, so I highly recommend it. And what they do is they do like, kind of like how Facebook does like, hey, look back on this day. Or like, you know, like Facebook will send you notifications be like, you've been friends with this person for four years. Let's look back on your friendship or whatever, you know, which is always really annoying on Facebook. But on Google Photos, it's more welcome because first of all, it's private. And second of all, it's all of the photos that you've taken personally. So it's a lot more interesting and, and personal than just like a random video that Facebook craps out about putting your photos into like weird collage video album things and um, this on the other hand is like hey look look back on this day for example a year ago or two years ago whatever you know whatever going back <laughs> I could keep counting three years ago four years ago five years ago six years ago seven years ago but, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um, actually, I think I could work with this photo. Let's see. It looks blown out, but I think I could work with it. I might do some image stacking. I've tried to do image stacking before, and honestly, I suck at it, especially when there's so much detail going on. Like with the trees. Trees are... Tree and tree branches are the killers for when you're trying to image stack something. And I really hate that, because I've tried before and, uh, failed. I've tried before and I've failed before. Actually, multiple times. I, there's, there's one time that I've been successful, um, and I was happy with the result of an image stacking that I did. And even that, I kind of messed up and could go back and fix and, and do better, knowing now what I, what I know about image stacking, but anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll just see what I can do with the raw file first, and then if I have to image stack, I will, if not, if not, if not, then I won't. Um, so what I was saying is, Google Photos has been sending me these, like, notifications every day for the past week, basically, like, hey, look back on this day, hey, look back on this day, and it's like, ooh, this, on this day, a year ago, I wasn't at Machu Picchu, but I was, like, at, at this year, at, at, I was still in Peru. At this, at this day, a year ago, I was still in Peru. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. 
And so I've been looking back and I've been reflecting on that. And so for the past, you know what day is today? Monday. Yeah, so yesterday I started a blog post on my website, which I have not finished yet. Um, but I will at some point finish it. Because I've been working on it all day today too. And it's like this really long, basically visual travel diary. I don't know what I should call it. But it's basically a visual travel. A visual diary of my travels um, but all of the photos in it are explained too as well so that's why it's it's, it's, been, it's been taking longer than just throwing a bunch of images into a blog post and then posting it out it's it's more of a hey this is what's going on in this photo this is what I was thinking when I took this photo and this is what was going through our minds when I took this photo in Peru and like explaining the situation like <laughs> explaining the situation, for example, behind my uh, my avatar, my profile picture, not the Mike McCarthy part, but the alpaca part, and it's like, where were we? What were we doing? Why was there just a random alpaca there? Why was I so close to it? You know, that kind of stuff. And, and so I've just been going through day by day by day by day, um, getting the best pictures from the day, and then explaining all of those pictures and explaining what I did that day. And what I love about uh, my trip to Peru is that I actually, I kind of like this one. I don't know how blurry it is though. Oh, there's some lens flare. I actually don't like lens flare. I know a lot of people like lens flare in their images. I don't like lens flare. I'm not a fan uh, because it's so overdone artificially in just in the industry and not I mean just like every everywhere you go you see artificial lens flare and so I've I've never added artificial lens flare and I never will add artificial lens flare but even naturally occurring lens flare uh, enrages me in my own photos because I'm like because I know other people will judge me and they'll be like oh you added that artificially or whatever or, I mean, it just, it, it looks very amateur, even though it's naturally occurring, it's totally fine, like, it's, it's, na it's natural, you know, but, and there's not a whole lot you can do to avoid it except for don't shoot directly into the sun, um, but, I mean, like, uh, settings on your camera, there's not a whole lot you can do, I can't tell if this is out of focus or not, it looks like, it doesn't look like it's too out of focus. It's the, the problem with these like super visually busy photos is that they're super visually busy. <laughs> That's the exact problem with them, but they're also visually interesting because of how busy they are. And there's like a, I feel like there's a good balance that you have to try to capture there. I don't know if I did or not. I, this is still my first pass through the images. I this was a really scary to to. To diverge from the Peru thing for a second, this was a really scary trip into this jungle area here, by the way, because it's February 21st, 2018 in this photo, but I kid you not, and I'm in the Northeast, that means it's freezing cold outside, that means it's, you know, everything, you can see everything is dead here, every single thing is dead. That's how it should be. Everything should be dead. <laughs> and that's, that's how winter works. Things die in the winter. And yet when I went down here, I didn't, I mean, this isn't too deep into this little like forest area. And yet like there was so much movement. There was so much sound. There was so much like commotion from like bugs and birds and like wildlife and like fish and like turtles and like things jumping in and out of the water. It was kind of scary. I was honestly scared because I was not expecting that. And I was like, I'm not in proper attire either to, I'm about, I feel like I'm about to get into a wrestling fight with a bear. And that's like not at all what I was expecting when I came out here today to try to photograph this, this nature preserve trail near me. Um, so that was kind of scary. But I survived. The good thing is I survived. I didn't go any deeper though. I didn't go any, I, I, I don't know how much deeper I went, but it, it definitely wasn't too much deeper than what we see right here, I don't think. I mean, you can see the road is behind us. The road is behind the camera here. I don't know which one of these two shots is better, by the way. I'll try to figure it out in a second here. Uh, as long as it loads. Um, the road is behind us, 
So, like, the road is where I am taking the photo. And it's not even that deep. I mean, it's, it's hard to put in pers into perspective without showing you it in perspective, but... Whatever, you get the point. <laughs> the, the point is that it's not very deep into the woods that I went, and it was already, like, really scary, especially given the fact that it was February 22nd, like I said, and there was, like, all this wildlife running around. Ooh, I actually... Ooh. That did... So, okay, so I shoot RAW plus JPEG because I like the idea of having the JPEGs if I want to send something out super quickly and not do any editing, but obviously you've got to shoot in RAW. I mean, hello because that's how you, like, edit stuff. But, uh, this actually did a pretty good job. The JPEG on this is pretty good. So that's why when you see, like, when it's loading and, and the colors look a lot flatter, that's because it's the raw file, and then after it loads, it adds, like, the JPEG edits on top of it already. So I'm liking that, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll flag that. So going back to what I was saying about Peru and my time in Peru, um, what I was saying is, a year ago today, I was in Peru, basically, and so I, oh, so I'm, so I've been getting these notifications from Google Photos, this is like, Yo, Claire, what is up? I haven't seen you in so long. I feel like you haven't been streaming, and I haven't been watching a lot. And that's a, that's, that's on both of us. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was talking to Bryn the other day, and Bryn was telling me that you have not been streaming, uh, as often as you used to used to be streaming, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's sad." Sorry, sorry to hear that. He said there there, there are some reasons about that. Brent said there were some reasons for that. So I'm I hope that you are able to work through whatever you're working through now. I unfortunately am not very uh, I'm not very knowledgeable about the situation because I kind of haven't been watching myself, and that's my fault. But, <laughs> but hello, how are you doing today? I uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, yeah, and so, so I've been putting together this blog post filled with all of these images that I took, you know, a year ago now from my trip to Peru. And it's really interesting to be able to go back and, and see everything basically again. <laughs> yes, yes, good to see me photoshopping. Yes, of course, of course. Well, this look, good to see me lightrooming. Is that a word? Why is why is photoshop a verb but not lightroom? Good to see me lightrooming. <laughs> um I'm just going through this is a really old uh photo shoot from you can read the date February 21st. Um, and I've basically, I, I hope you're proud of me, light, lightening, light, lighting, <laughs> light rooming, rooming, oh, I like that, it's like photoshopping, and they say like shopping, rooming, um, <clears throat> uh, so this is, I hope you're proud of me because I know that we've both talked about this before of getting like super behind on editing stuff, and I'm basically almost all cut up with editing all of my photos, so I'm able to finally go back now and catch up on all of the photos that I never edited, which is why I'm working on something from mm, four months ago. I know, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's like, it's like this has never happened before. Now, I have like four different stacks of photos that I need to edit, I mean folders, four different folders, you know, what, you know what I mean. Four different folders worth of photos that I need to catch up on to, to finally be fully caught up on, to, to edit. And also, ooh, ooh, I am going to Texas, Claire. I'm going to Austin, too, which I think is... No, no, oh, wait, never mind. You're in Houston. Never mind. But I'm going to Austin. That's still cool. It's still cool. <laughs> uh, soon. I don't know exactly when. But within the next couple weeks, I'll be going. So, yes, yes, you have to. It's chasing the dream. One day you will finally catch up on all of your photo editing. One day. Austin is more fun than Houston. That's good to hear because I'm going to Austin and not Houston. Um, 
but basically the point is that I'll be taking a ton of photos there as well, obviously, and then I'll be back behind again on all of my photos. So I'm trying to enjoy this moment while it lasts, and like I'm, I'm really taking my time. I'm like, because like I've never, because <laughs> like after basically after I edit this, I'll be, I'll, I'll have one folder left of photos to edit after I edit these ones. And I'm just, I'm just like, I don't even know, I don't even know what to do with my life anymore, you know? Like, what, what is life? What do I even do now that I'm all caught up? That's like, that's like the dilemma I'm going through right now. All right, I like both of these. I'll pick both of these. Uh, so one of the things that I have been doing is that I've been looking through all of the photos uh, that I took during my time in Peru. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you told me about that. <laughs> Four years behind. I am not that far behind, but I have also not even had a camera for four years, so that's probably why. I'll get there eventually. I'll get there eventually. Oh god. <laughs> 14 clients. Oh god. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Is it all? Is it all wedding stuff? Because I know, I know you had that one underwater shoot, which I watched. I watched part of it. I didn't get to watch all of it, but I watched part of it, and I was like, "Whoa, this is really cool." Obviously, it's probably something that I'll never do, but something I definitely admire, because it obviously takes a lot of hard work and skill to be able to put something like that together. Ooh, senior portraits. Is that for... How does that work? Are you... Because I, I thought you were entirely like freelance, but do you work for a company to do that? Or do you have... Is that is that you? Is that on you? Or actually, no, you know what I'm thinking of because I had to actually... I had to get my senior portrait done recently, but that was through the school, and I'm assuming that what you're doing is not through the school. It's it's not like through the school officially, right? Is what I'm assuming. Do you have uh really want to call friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you own do you own a studio in Houston like a like a studio like a like a physical place for people to come in, or do you rent a space when you shoot people when <laughs> when you shoot photos of people? Is that, I don't know how that works. I, I don't know, I don't know all that, how all that works. I'm more just like going out, like finding a weird trail that I've never went down before and been like, ooh, this will probably be cool. And then I like get eaten alive by mosquitoes and then I never can walk again. That's basically what happened on this day. <clears throat> you don't own it, but I rent it and it's only mine. <laughs> It's 100 degrees out, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I heard that it's going to be like 100 and like 110 plus over the next week, and over the next couple weeks in Austin, at least in Austin. And I am definitely, definitely, absolutely looking forward to that. How could you not be looking forward to that? You know what I mean? And of course I said that all sarcastically because because it's like 90, it's like 90, it, I think it, it, the high today here in New Jersey was like 96 or 97. And I actually just got in from cutting the grass and it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. It was literally the worst thing ever. I feel like it's so much hotter. Uh oh, what did I just do? I feel like it's so it's so much hotter than it has ever been before. Oh, is that the end of all my photos? Let's see. I feel like it's, it's hotter, but I could be wrong. It's maybe just because I haven't gone outside. <laughs> I haven't gone outside in like two days. I haven't left my today was the first day that I left my air-conditioned house in like two days Like I didn't even go outside to my car and so it was just like going from zero 
from zero to a hundred real quick, but not from zero to a hundred, but from zero to like ninety-seven, like I was saying, degrees. And walking around and pushing a mower, which is really, really not a, no, I'm not a fan of that. But sometimes, but you gotta do it, you gotta do it, especially because I'm about to go on vacation. And I don't want to come back to like a, like a forest growing in my, in my yard. I definitely don't want that to happen. All right, we have 38 photos here. I most likely will not be sticking with them all. Oh yeah, I already see duplicate stuff. But yeah, so basically when I go down to Texas, it's gonna be like, okay, the thing about Texas is though, it's like, a, it's a dry heat though, right? Like it's not, it's not, is it, how, how humid is it there? Can you speak to the humidity or not? Because I think honestly, more than anything is the humidity and the lack of breeze. And I assume there's a lack of breeze down in Texas. Although, depending on where I go, there might be, there might be some breeze. Um, oh God, Houston is like, is basically like walking in the lake. Well, that is not, that's not good. I, because I was actually earlier, earlier in the summer, like a couple weeks ago, I was playing basketball outside and it was, it was, I believe 90 degrees, like the, like the thermometer said 90 degrees. I don't know which one of these I like better, by the way. I might like this one better, but I also don't like the little stick at the bottom. Um, Austin, Austin is bad, but there's plenty of breeze. Well, that's good to hear. That's a, that's a big positive. Um, what was I saying? So I, I went outside to, yeah, I like, uh, I like both of them. I think I like this one better, but I don't like this stick down here. Let's unpick that. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Okay. Uh, I was playing basketball. It was 90 degrees outside. That's what thermometer said. And then like I checked my weather app and it said feels like 101. And that's because it was so ridiculously humid and there was zero wind whatsoever that it felt like 101. And that was fun to play in. <laughs> I was like, I was like, it felt like I couldn't breathe. Like I, like I wasn't able to catch my breath because we were playing outside and like, Within five minutes, it was just like, it, you know, it kind of felt like, it felt like I was in high altitude, actually. Speaking of, to, to tie things back to Peru, and I went there, and like we went on a hike, and like five minutes into the hike, and none of us could breathe because we had just went from zero elevation in Lima to like 8,000 feet in Cusco or higher. I think it was actually higher where we were. And we, it was five minutes into a hike and like no one could breathe. That's what it felt like, uh, except in New Jersey at basically sea level because of how humid it was. Yeah, yeah, you don't, we don't kid around about the heat. Yeah, well, I, I, I hope it's not too bad. I hope it's not too unbearable. I feel like it's not as bad in cities though. I don't know what it is. like. In, in the heart of a city, I feel like. I, feel like, I guess because I guess like the buildings are providing shade, right? And they're, they're, they have their own air conditioners running, hopefully, or at least fans, like fans are going on. There's like air conditioner running. So when you're, when you're like next to the big, when you're, when you're in the city, it doesn't feel as hot. That's, that's my experience of like going to New York in the summer. Like, yes, it's like 100 degrees outside, but like, it's, it's honestly not too terrible, is what I always find. Um, not like when you're just playing basketball on a basketball court in the, in the sun, in the direct sunlight, and uh, no breeze, super humid. You can't catch your breath with, within five minutes of playing. It's usually not that bad. Although the other day, uh, <laughs> and was, okay, this will be the last thing that I say because I feel like talking about the weather is kind of ridiculous. Talking about the weather for too long is too ridiculous. Uh, but I still have to make the second pass through here. The other thing I'll say is I like this one better. The other thing I'll say is yesterday um, my uncle went on a walk in the park 
while I was at his house, he went for a walk in the park. He came back, you know, 20 minutes later, just, I was just walking around outside and like he was drenched in sweat, <laughs> literally just from walking outside. <laughs> and it's just like, it's, it's crazy. Heat is crazy, yo. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it's not that bad when I go to Austin. Uh, I do like this photo, but I wish something else was in focus. <clears throat> but yeah, we, we definitely don't mess around with the heat. That's why I, I want there to be somewhere... Why does there not exist a place that's like temperate year-round? I guess there does, like Colorado. I remember when I went to Colorado the one time, um, and we went in the summer... Yeah, we went in the summer, and, you know, summer here, that's what I'm saying, that's, we're in the summer right now, and it's 90 degrees plus every day, but in Colorado, especially where the mountains are, depending on where you are, it's like 65, or like 70, you know, like, it's like a very, it's a cool, it feels like it's spring all the time, and that's, that's the real sweet spot, like, that's where you want to be, you want to be in, like, the eternal spring, Eternal spring, eternal spring, that's like the best, that's the sweet spot to be in. That's, that's a, that would be a nice place to live. But unfortunately we don't get that here in New Jersey. Apparently, I, well I know you don't get that in Austin. You know what I saw the other day too is I have a friend right now who is traveling to Minnesota and I'm like, oh, Minnesota, that's the place that like gets to like negative 15 degrees in the winter it's got to be like 60 degrees max right now, right? Wrong. In the summer, it gets to like 90 degrees. Like it's like just as hot as it is here. Like that's crazy to me that they get the worst of both worlds because they get the worst, worst, worst cold, even worse than we do here in New Jersey. And they get it just as bad heat wise. I don't understand how people live in Minnesota. I really don't. <clears throat> it's like if you live in Minnesota, you are stronger than the average person. You just you're just you're just you are not human. You're you've like surpassed human. You've evolved. You've evolved past human. <laughs> we can barely barely get below 40 here in the winter. That's good though. That's that's, see, that's the good side. That's the good side of, uh, of, of Texas. Because that's the thing that is really terrible, terrible about New Jersey, is the only decent seasons are spring and fall. And fall not really, because everything is dead, so everything smells like dying, dead leaves. Uh, and everything is super windy, too, so it's usually actually pretty cold. Which, so that only leaves spring. And uh, when it's like 70, 75 every day, like a ni and, and like a nice breeze. But other than that, you're in winter, and we get we get way below. I mean, we get down in the 20s, I would say probably. I think we actually got down to the teens recently too, maybe. Uh, but yeah, definitely like below freezing, because, and then in the winter we get above a hundred sometimes. And it's like, whoa. Or at least feels like a hundred. And it's like, that's not okay. <laughs> I just feel like I'm constantly being killed. I'm either being frozen to death or melted to death. And it's like, there's no... I just want the in-between. And the thing that is really terrible is that... Let's see. The ISO on this photo. I don't know why that... I really need to be off of auto ISO. I finally switched away from auto ISO recently. Not too, actually a couple months ago, but in ter I haven't shot too much since then. So basically recently. Um, <clears throat> but that would have helped a lot of my shoots. I have a lot of very similar photos here. And so I don't know which one of these I should be taking. I'll, t I'll, I'll get rid of that one here, okay. Ooh, now between these two, I like the shadow more on that one. I also like the focus being a little bit out further. 
because here the focus is like directly in front of us on these leaves down here. In this one, the focus is a little bit out further. I like that. I prefer that. Um, Epers. Ooh, let me get rid of that. I haven't updated my computer or my phone in so long, basically since I've gotten them. And I know that's really terrible because Apple's like, you're leaving yourself open to viruses. And it's like, it, it's like, yes, okay, yes, but also doing an update on, a, on an Apple machine like breaks it. Ooh, I like, ah, I can't decide which one I like better. Hold on, give me a second. Let me decide. I need, I need peace. I need peace and quiet to decide. <sighs> you ignore updates forever, yeah. Okay, see you later, Claire. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm actually, I'm, I, I like these photos more than I did originally. Bryn can tell you I did not like these photos originally, but I'm liking them. But yeah, try to get caught up on those 14. Don't leave those 14 clients waiting. <laughs> Um, I am super, I, I'm super far behind on updates because, first of all, I just never have the time to do them. Like if I'm using, if I'm going to sit down and use my computer, it's because I want to sit down and use my computer and not wait to sit down and use my computer. Um, I like both of them. What to do, what to do. I can only choose one. Okay, we'll, we'll decide later. Just put it off. Why do what you could do today, what you could put off until tomorrow? I think ben, Benjamin Franklin had a really famous quote, which is the opposite of what I just said. I like this one a lot better. Actually, do I like that one a lot better? The answer is yes. Benjamin Franklin had this really famous quote where he said, uh, why put off what you could, no, why put off what you could, no, hold on, why put off to, why put off until tomorrow what you could do today? And I like distorting that quote, because that's obviously great advice, but I like distorting that quote to fit the, fit the personality of a procrastinator like me by saying, why do today what you could put off until tomorrow <laughs> because that is a lot more relevant for me all right i like both of these as well it's a little bit of a different angle but i still don't think i could get away i'm i'm a lot more i'm i'm becoming a lot more picky with my photo selections um because i'm more concerned with I'm more concerned with like displaying it in a portfolio and not, not to get jobs or to try to get into a college, like I'm not going to go to college for photography or something like that, but just for myself, as in I, I want to be able to display these photos here, these photos are my best photos, period. And this photo is good, 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 it's okay, this photo is okay, this photo is okay, but they're not, they don't stand, hardly any of these in this set here stand out as like grabbing, they don't, they don't grab, this photo doesn't grab me, there's nothing about this photo that grabs me, it's an okay photo, I think the reflections in the lake is really interesting. I think that the, the dead trees in the background is really interesting. I think the composition is busy. It's very busy. That's the problem with having all of these dead, that's what I was saying earlier, is that's the problem with having all these like dead sticks and trees and bushes and everything in the photos because they create a lot of visual confusion and they just take up a lot of space in a way that's it's not appealing to the eye, especially not like compositionally. Um, and so <clears throat> what I'm saying is that this photo is good, but it's, it's not, it doesn't grab me. I think that's an, that's an infinitely better photo, but even this 
doesn't grab me. And obviously, I mean, I haven't, I haven't edited it yet either, but this photo doesn't grab me. I think this photo grabs me more than anything. And now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I like this one more, actually, the second one more now. I know I still haven't decided between the two, because why do today? Which you could put off until tomorrow, as I was saying. As Benjamin Franklin so wisely said. I like this one too, this one isn't like... I, I like working with silhouettes. That's like my new thing, I think that's my style. No, <laughs> it's not my style because I don't do it often enough, but some of my favorite photos is... Some of my favorite photo moments is when I am able to create silhouettes and shadows and interesting and weird places. I think this stuff is okay, you know, whatever. Actually, what happened to my other photo? Okay. I think I like that one better. I think the, the snapped branch here actually tells a little bit of a story. <laughs> if, if, if that's... I, I understand that that's kind of strange to say, but it's like these trees are falling and dying before our eyes, as opposed to just like, yeah, everything's dead. But, but they're, they're standing tall, they're standing tall, they're standing strong, they're holding their ground. Whereas like this is like, he's just keeling over and dying before our eyes. Like he's just like, I, I, I can't live on this planet anymore. And he's just like falling over and just breaking off and dying. Um, so I think out of the two photos here, I'll definitely go with that one. Although you can see it, you can see it here. I keep pointing to my screen like you're able to see it, and then I realize, oh no, you can't see it. Uh, whatever. Okay, okay. What, going back to what we're doing, let's, let's, let's jump through. Uh, I'm, I'm still going through my second pass here for the, everyone who's just joining right now. I'm going through my second pass of photos. I, I went through and, and picked out like my favorite photos from this photo shoot already, and now I'm going through for a second time, and... Uh, just narrowing it down even even more, even even further, uh, if that makes more sense. So what I was saying before I got so derailed by the the, fi the pictures in front of me, the fixtures, the the photos and the fixtures, is that um, I am because we saw my update thing, my update. I need to update my Mac. Basically, is the main point. And I, I never update my Mac. I haven't updated my Mac in probably a year, probably more than a year actually. And I haven't updated my phone in so long. And uh, Apple will get mad at me for that because they'll be like, oh, you're leaving yourself. Oh, I don't like this one as much anymore actually. I think I, that, that one's a much more interesting photo. Not that one. Apple will say, hey, you're leaving yourself open to uh, like security issues and like malware and viruses. And, <laughs> and I really, okay, I shouldn't be joking about that. I like this one a lot better. You can't get away with all these. I'm getting rid of that one. There you go. See, we're, we're, we're cutting it down. We're slicing it down. Slicing off a piece of the pie. I like that. Um, I'm leaving myself open to a lot of issues, basically, security issues and whatever. And I'm also missing out on the cool new features, except my, my computer is from 2015, I want to say, 2014. I think it's from 2014, but they do the same thing that cars do, so like, if you buy it in 2014... No, no they don't, they don't, never mind. I bought it in 2015. My computer's from 2015. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a MacBook from 2015. So I don't really, I'm not able to take advantage of a lot of the features, and so what instead ends up happening as you all can probably attest to, is that whenever there's a new update or something, what, what it does, it just ends up breaking, it just ends up breaking my computer. My computer just gets slower, and like, I can't, I can't use it anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm liking these photos here. I wonder if I could stitch together some sort of panorama between these two, um, and try to get something interesting going on here visually because they're very, oh, but this one is more zoomed in. I think this one is more interesting to tell a story. It looks more swampy. It looks more dead. It looks more uh, ominous because you just see like a little bit of a puddle of flood water, whereas here it's more like a river bank. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to call these things. I'm not a na naturologist, um, but... 
Let's see. <clears throat> I think this is going to be another tough decision. I don't actually particularly like either of these photos, but I think if I had to choose one, the zoomed in one is more interesting. I like the fact that it's cutting out all of the houses too, because there are some houses on the right side of the image that get thrown to the side, you know, they get cropped out basically, essentially. Although the problem that I have with this one is the focus and where the focus is, which is, I don't know where the focus is. It looks like to be like on that tree, when in reality, rhyming, it should be, rhyming, on all of these. Tried to finish the rhyme. Wasn't able to finish the rhyme. But you get the point. Okay. I do like the wide shot though, now that I think about it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so. The question is what to do? What to do? What to do? I'm thinking maybe not keep both of them. Definitely not keep both of them. I think the wide shot works a little bit better. This makes me feel claustrophobic, especially where this is cut off up here. I think if if I if the camera was tilted up just a tiny bit more, then this would be a better shot. You know, if the, if the camera was lifted up or tilted up a tiny bit more just to finish this arc here, this would be a better shot. But right now it, it feels claustrophobic and that I you can, I could extrapolate from there. I could, I could say, hey, yeah, let's get a claustrophobic feeling picture in here. Whereas this is, this is much more like, oh my gosh, I can open, I, I can breathe again. I'm finally opening up. Ah, <sighs> I can, you know, there's so much more space going on here. Whereas this one is just like, oh, I'm squeezed together. I'm, I'm confined. I don't know what to think. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm. I'm not extremely claustrophobic. I'm kind of claustrophobic. I, what I'm more worried about when I'm going into tight spaces is the structure collapsing on me. If that makes more sense, which I think there's an actual fear for. I. I don't think I'm particularly afraid of heights per se. I'm more afraid that when I'm on something tall, like a building or a, or a floor, you know, in a, a multiple story building, um, or on a roller coaster or something, or even a water slide to an extent, I think about it all the time as like, I think about the structure collapsing. And that's what makes me afraid of heights. But it's, it's not, I'm not afraid of the height, I'm afraid of the thing that I'm standing on collapsing. And so, <clears throat> that goes both ways too. It's like, when I'm going through a tunnel, I'm afraid of that collapsing in on me. It's just like, it's just, basically I'm just paranoid, is, is what I'm trying to say. It's, 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 that's a fancy way of saying that I'm very paranoid. Um, and not necessarily afraid of heights and not necessarily claustrophobic but those things do get wrapped up with what I am afraid of and this is definitely very constraining very constricting uh, little space here but this looking at it now this actually might be too open because there's so much blank space over here with these uh, with this there's so much blank space up here. So much blank space, so much room to work with. What I don't ever do and what I should be doing more often, ooh, and this, that's actually a great idea. What I should be doing more often is I should be going in here and I should be, let me see. I should be going like this and doing a nice little vertical shot, perhaps like that. And this is a lot more interesting. No, maybe not. But, but you get the point. What I don't do is I don't do enough of vertical, I don't do enough vertical shots in my work. Oh, perhaps a vertical here would have been better. Take a vertical and then zoom in, uh, you know, crop in with a vertical. 
I think that would have been a lot more interesting. I think that's the next thing, next thing that I'm going to be working on in the future in terms of in terms of future photo shots, photo shoots. I, I feel weird calling these photo shoots because I feel like photo shoots is something that should be reserved for um, like shooting portraits, like shooting models or shooting portraits or shooting something specific. Whereas this is just like I'm going out with my camera and shooting stuff, whatever I happen to shoot. But I guess they're kind of photo shoots. All right, I don't like this anymore. I'm getting rid of that. That I still have to play with some. That I like. It's not great. I can come back to it. Okay, these are two of the same shots. So now we are in the same predicament. And again, I don't like how this is cut off up here. These trees are cut off up there. But at the same time, if I had raised the camera anymore or tilted it up any further or farther, I don't know how to speak English. I don't know what the correct thing is. But if I had raised it, if I raised it up any farther, then there'd be too much white space here. And this is not white space, it's sky, but too much blank space, too much un... So again, again, right, again, that's where a vertical would have come into play and then just taken a vertical and gone like, whoop, like that, maybe, you know what I'm saying? I think that would have been really interesting. But I'm only seeing that now. I'm, I've only been opening my eyes up to that now more recently. So it's something that I've, I've internalized and will be more conscious of in the future when I go out to shoot again. So like I was saying, when I go out to Austin, when I go out to Texas, when I go out to the store, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I bring my camera with me to wherever it is next, whatever it happens to be, I will make a point to take more verticals. This I'm getting rid of, bye bye. Uh, this is a really interesting one. Not visually, but interesting in that it kind of does draw me in, in a way. Which is funny enough because when this photo first popped up, I was like, hmm, should I even pluck it? Should I even pin it? Should I even flag it? Whatever. Pick it. It's called pick. 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 Why is it called pick? It should just be flag. Set as rejected. Set flag as pick. Okay. So, um, I like this one. I like the hole. The problem is, there are two problems with this. There are multiple problems with this. One lens flare up here, up here, somewhere in here, there's more lens flare, I think. That's what I saw. Hold on. Where is it? I'll find you. I'll find you. Uh, that's not lens flare. That's a piece of grass. That's not lens flare. Anyway, the point being that, well, I believe it was up here. No, maybe not. Okay, well the point is that there's lens flare, period. Oh, it's down here, right? I also really hate the, uh, I hate the chromatic aberration. I know I can get rid of that. None of these photos have been edited yet. Not to my liking, at least. And I will fix that in a second. First you have to decide. First you choose. First we feast. Um, I like the hole. I don't know what this is, a fox hole, a beaver hole, a turtle hole, because it goes directly into the water. Oh, you know what, it might be a snake hole, which would be scary. See, I'm telling you, I was scared out here in the forest, I was scared, because I was all alone, and clearly, clear, about to be eaten by a water snake. And that's a really scary position to be put in. To be eaten by a water snake would have been really scary. I'm gonna keep that for now. <laughs> I'm never gonna get through any of this. It's been almost an hour and I haven't, uh, I haven't even started editing yet. This one I like, although it reminds me a lot of another photo that I took in another set of dead tree photos. Dead, tr dead stuff. Winter shoots outside. I also find it weird how there's still leaves. Why are there still leaves? Or are those new leaves? I thought all leaves died. 
why are, why do, why are these leaves so special? Why do they think, why do these leaves think that they can come in here and stay alive and grow big and tall and strong while all the other leaves die? Huh? I don't know. But, this one is very similar to, to things that I already have and I'm not in this photo shoot but in another photo shoot, and I don't know if that means that I should keep it or if I should not keep it. But I'm erring on the side of not keeping it, so I won't. This one I like. I think this one, the color, the color is there already. I think the color is going to be so interesting to work with in this one. To just push magenta, push yellow, push orange, push purple. But magenta, mostly, I think magenta here. I actually really look forward to playing with this one a lot, which I will do. Oh, is that it? Is that the last one? No. I just, my thing, my thing does not, what? there we go, hold on. There we go. Okay, so now we come across the duality of man, the, the two photos once again. Two photos, two very similar photos. Huh. Two very similar photos. I don't even know... What's the difference here? I just, I raised the camera? No. It's a different angle too, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it a different angle, eh? You know, getting a br little British twinge. Yeah. It is. It is a different angle. Okay. So, I gotta go with this one. This one is much better. This one is, I don't like the trees. It looks like it's about to stab me, you know? It reminds me of Freddy Krueger. Like, Freddy Krueger, like, this tree is just the hand of Freddy Krueger, and it's just, it's sticking its claws out, you know, its, it's hand out, like, claws, and it's about to stab me in the in the stomach, which is actually, ironically, one of the, one of, a nightmare that I've had before. And that's what this tree is. This tree is a nightmare. It's, it comes directly out of a nightmare of Freddy Krueger stabbing me in the stomach. So let's let's not flag that one. Let's let's pick this one instead. This one, this one is the better one. This one I like more. This one is the one I'm going with. Okay. Oh God! And then we have duality of man once again. This is not fair. Okay. <laughs> this these two. This is a lot more difficult of a of a of a pick. Oh, because once again we have. Freddy Krueger coming in from off the screen. We have Freddy Krueger coming in from off the screen trying to stab us, trying to ruin our dream, our peaceful slumber, coming up here with his claws out, stretched, and trying to kill us. And I don't like that. So, should I go with this one? Because you have a little bit, you have a Freddy Krueger bush down here a little bit, don't you? Isn't it? Uh... But I think that one, that one is better, is m much better composed. Uh, rule of thirds, definitely. Uh, bottom, well, I can draw it here for you. Bottom third, middle third, that leaves top third pretty, pretty nicely. Um... But I think I would also, if I were to roll with this, as the as the kids say, as in rolling with something, let's roll with it. I'll roll with it. Um, if I were to roll with this, then I think I would have to Photoshop all these Freddy Krueger hands out. I believe that is my disposition towards it. I don't know if that's the correct use of that word. So let's do this. Let's let's click this as purple. <clears throat> but also uncheck it. Why? Where is my... Uh... I love the music. The music has been great today. Good job, Pretzel Bot. Pretzel rocks! I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I like how it gives... it puts little links in the chat now. It didn't, didn't do that before. But now it does. So I guess I could come back and uh, look at them. I could, I could come back and play the songs again. I don't really understand how that works, but okay. I'm not going to click on the links right now because I'm in the middle of a stream. How dare they? But it's rocking. Uh -uh. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It links to the songs. Oh, that's cool. Also, good on people who like submit their song to Pretzel. Pretzel is the greatest thing ever for streaming. Royalty free music, period. Free, easy, uh, YouTube friendly, and you have like stations too. And it's, it is, it's radio, so I don't have to download anything, I don't have to set anything up. I literally open the app, it immediately starts playing, and I'm on my way. Not sponsored by Pretzel. Just a, just a, just a, just a, trying to do my service. Okay. The composition on this one, this is Duality of Man, like part seven. The composition on this one is, uh, it's not awful either. I might have to do image stacking. So let's set this as purple. I think that this one is still my main. This is still my go-to. This is still my main, the main man. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the guy that you go to. You know, you have a problem. You zip zap zoom. You go to this guy. You get it all fixed up. You're in and out in a jiffy. I think that's the one to go with. This one is really similar to. I'm not even. I don't shut up. <laughs> I have I have nothing to say about that one. All right, this one, you got Freddy Krueger curls out here. Um, you have what's this up here? Whatever this thing is called, light block lens flare. <laughs> You've got a block of light, light blockage. The blockage is actually heavy, but it's a heavy blockage of light. Don't get those two things confused. It's a, it's a light block. It's very heavy. It's blocking the light. The thing isn't okay. The thing isn't. The thing is not light in weight. It's light in material. It's heavy in weight. There you go. I do like the sparkles on the water though. That's cool. How'd I do that? <laughs> Okay, whatever. Okay, okay. I like this. It feels uninspired. Because it is. And there's a lot of... The lens flare is in such an awful position, too. Because it's right on the crack, and the crack is almost one of the most interesting parts of the entire photo. That little splinter, this little splinter in the tree there is almost basically the most interesting part of the photo. That's the thing is there's nothing interesting in this photo. I don't know where my eyes should be going. I don't know what I should be looking at. I don't know what I should be feeling. I don't know what I should be. I don't know what I should be. You know, there's an existential crisis going on over here just by looking at this photo. And so for that reason, we, you know, we should do a uh, I, you know what I need? I need like a Shark Tank button. You know, like, oh, for that reason, I'm out. And then like, you know, but I need, I need like, but it's, it's like Mark Cuban saying it. And they're like, uh, your product sucks. Uh, you're not making any sales. Uh, I don't believe in you as a person. Uh, I don't think we can work well together. And for that reason, I'm out. You know how they do that on, on Shark Tank? I need, that. <laughs> I need like a little button to push and then to say, and for that reason, I'm out. Because it's looking to me right now like, for this reason, I'm out. <laughs> That's what it's looking like to me. I've just, I've just dissected my own work. I think I'll keep it for now. You know what? I'll keep it for now. This one is a lot more interesting already. Uh, I like how the focus is not on this. This is blurred. That's a start. That's a good thing because it's Freddy Krueger out there, you know, trying to seep into our dreams, trying to kill us in our nightmare. I like how that's not a problem here. But, oh gosh, again, what am I looking at? Why do I care? Why do I look... 
Why do I look? Why do I have eyes? Why can I see? What's the point, you know? Why am I not just reading this off a piece of paper in Braille, you know, the description of this in Braille? But, we can figure this out together. Um, and this, this is probably it. I'm probably not actually going to end up getting to editing any of my photos because this is taking so long. There's a lot to, there's a lot to, to think about here and a lot to dissect in terms of like which photos I'm even taking. Usually it's a lot more clear. Usually I don't have those problems. And obviously I, I've never even streamed my, uh, my, cult, my photo culling process, my culling process at all in the past before. And so I think that's part of what's making this more difficult. But I'm thinking that uh, for this reason, I'm out. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press the Shark Tank button. For that reason, I'm out on this photo. Although I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it again. This one, again, uninspiring. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. I've said it a thousand times. Where's my eye going? What am I looking at? Why am I looking at it? Why should I care? What do I feel? From this photo, I don't feel anything, I don't look at anything, I don't see anything, I don't care about anything. So, what should I be doing when looking at this photo? I don't know. The composition is a little bit weird. I like the clash between nature and between the road. And it's like, it's like a road over nature, like move over nature or we're gonna run you over we're gonna pave all over you nature we're we're the man we're in charge and we're gonna put you in your place you know uh, sure whatever that's cool that's about it i don't like where this little pole here is well you know guardrail is cut off i think that's a in a problematic position it's cut off over there interesting and this area I know to be a river or lake is not visible as a river or lake. Also, the sky is a little bit blown out, huh? Even for this being exposed properly. That's odd. I think once again I'll keep this, but I will most likely have to crop it to save this photo because that is really distracting to me, actually. If I had just moved over a tiny bit, you know what I'm saying? Like if I, if, I, if I rotated the camera just a tiny bit more that way to catch that more in frame and to get less of this in frame because you can't even tell what it is. And I can bump that, bump, 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 bump that way up in post, but uh, what roll with that? All right, so I lied. I'm going in and I'm gonna start editing these photos. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, one last thing, one last thing. These two, duality of man, one last time. What are we choosing here between these two photos? I am so torn. I like this one, I like the composition. Ah, I like the composition better on that one. I, I like the rotation better on this one. I like the slant and the slope and the curve of the horizon. This horizon has got curves, you know what I'm saying? Like this is, this one is a little bit flatter. There's a little bit, uh, the focus is farther in the front. Eek, and I don't know if I like that. And now, I think I'm liking that one more. So ding, 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 we have a winner. I'm unpicking this one. This is, this is difficult. This is like killing off a kid. I don't know, <laughs> never mind, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that. This is, this is, that was dumb. This is nothing like killing off a kid. It makes me feel like a butcher. This, is, this must be what a butcher feels like. I'm, I'm killing a pig, how about that? I'm killing a piglet right now by unpicking this photo. I really don't want to. But I can't have both because there's the same exact photo, but one of them is better than the other and I don't know which one is which. This is like, for those of you who play fantasy football, I don't know how many of you play fantasy football, but this is like when you play fantasy football and you have two guys and you're like, should I start this guy or should I start this guy? 
And no matter who you put in that week, no matter who you choose that week, it's always the wrong choice. It always ends up being the wrong choice. Which one is better, this photo or that photo? This, this photo or that photo? This photo, that photo. I'm gonna have to make a choice. I think this one is the worst one. And I'm clicking the button. And for that reason, I'm out. There we go. Okay, <laughs> okay. We've, we, we've went through all the photos. And there's still some, there's still some risky ones out here. There's still some ones that I'm a little bit wishy-washy on. Um, not completely set and firm in my ways, in my decisions. But I think I'm about to choose this one. We're about to go in, we're about to run in, we're about to edit this. All right, let me click the develop module. <laughs> I'm wasting too much time. I'm standing here, I'm at my standing desk, uh, which is why I'm very, I'm very articulate today. I'm very like jumping around, bouncing around. This is why I, I prefer not doing photo. Uh, last stream we did arrested stuff about arrested development and like that was very like intensive and like very Photoshop heavy and 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 really like down and in the dirt and in, like in the mud. And then this one is a lot more chill and relaxed, and I prefer that. <laughs> the one where I'm able to stand and like walk around and bounce around at my standing desk. Standing desks are the way to go, by the way. Can I just say that? <clears throat> I don't have a full standing desk, but I have a standing desk converter. Which is basically just, <laughs> it's basically just, it's just a shelf, it's just a, it's just a stand. It's just a stand for my laptop, a plastic piece of metal, that, uh, contradictory, I know. A plastic piece of metal, oxymoron, that I put my computer on and now I can stand at my desk as opposed to just putting it on the desk and sitting down. You know, it, it raises up a bunch of feet, uh, so now I don't have to worry about it. Um, but let's hop right back in to this. So I'm standing here at my standing desk while editing, and it's a, it's a, it's a heck of a, it's a heck of a thrill, huh? All right, let's go up to, what I heard is like, Macs are really good with color calibration, which is great, awesome, cool, cool beans. Uh, but one thing is, brightness. So, so I, I, I have never done really color calibration stuff. I, I, I got one of my things printed, one of my, uh, whatchamacallums, one of my, <laughs> I got one of my photos printed um, out on this giant metal print that is really, really, really awesome to look at and to see and to actually be able to physically hold one of my pictures in my hands. Actually, I can barely hold it in my hands because it's a giant metal print, um, but I can hold it and see it and feel it and touch it and smell it and taste it and lick it if I wanted to do that. I haven't done that, I swear. But I can do that. Um, and the colors came out really great, actually, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about that with, when it comes to Macs because the, the, the monitor on my Mac is, is calibrated pretty perfectly in terms of color. But brightness, I will say, you go up to the max brightness and then you go down three. That's what I've heard. That's what I'm gonna stick with. <laughs> that's, just, that's, just what, that's, that's the little scuttlebutt out there on the internet. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna skidoosh with from Kung Fu Panda. Anyone here a Kung Fu Panda fan? That's the question. I actually, I was supposed to have a, I was supposed to start the stream with a question today, which the question being, um, what is the best song whose title, you know, the title, the name of the song, whose title isn't a lyric in the song? Does that make sense? Actually, let's keep the exposure how it is. Actually, no, let's bring it down just a tad like that, and then let's bring the highlights way down. Way down to Chinatown. What is the best song whose title is not a lyric in the song? And I don't want any, you know, dumb replies that are like, oh, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony uh, because in the song, no one says Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Yeah, because it's all a piano song. Okay, good. Good for you. Great for you. Uh, you're awesome. You're the greatest. You're so great. I, you're so smart and great. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear, like, Bohemian Rhapsody. You know? Freddie Mercury is not singing there, like, 
Mama just killed a man. Bohemian, this is this is Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a lyric in the song. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't actually I wasn't even able to come up with that many examples outside of that, just on my own, just 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 trying to list out examples. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is one of them. Obviously, that's a great song. But what is its competition? That's the question. Now, I don't listen to a whole big ton of music and big ton of songs and a vast array of different artists and genres and all this and that. So I'm not particularly the most well-versed in the, in the subject or in the subject matter. So that's why I sort of need the crowdsource response. And that's why I thought it would be most interesting to ask that because I feel like anyone could contribute. You just put put your mind put your put your mind to the grindstone. Put your pedal to the metal. Put your metal to the pedal, and 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 try to work it all out. I like that. Let me boost up the whites. Or will the whites attack the blues? Okay. Uh oh, I feel like sneezing. <coughs> <coughs> Bless myself. Sorry about that. I like this, I kind of don't want to do anything else with it. Perhaps pull the contrast up a little bit. I think that's a much more interesting photo, it's clearly less washed out than before. Clearly, 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 clearly. Alright, take away the clarity, it looks... Take away the clarity, it almost looks like it's like a comic book. But well, that's because a lot of comic books are done digitally now. Boost up the clarity. I still don't really know what clarity does. I just I just throw things at the wall until it sticks. Like Lightroom is a bag of Play-Doh. Each slider is just another scoop of Play-Doh. And I, I, I reel back and then I throw it at the wall and BAM! Oh, that didn't stick. That looks weird. Okay. Bye-bye. Then I do it again. What's vibrance? Oh, I don't know what vibrance is. I just do well, reel back and then boom! Oh god, what is that? And then I have to smear, I have to clean all the Play-Doh that I just smeared off the wall and I gotta clean that. Which is a mess, but... Hey, you do what you gotta do. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna pull up the saturation. Ooh, groovy. We need another Austin Powers movie. Does it? Uh, is that? Is that? Is that what was everyone was thinking right now? Is we need a new Austin Powers movie? I agree. We do. Uh, the scuttlebutt. The word on the street is that Mike Myers was considering it. I know he made an appearance on Jimmy Fallon. I want to say, fairly recently, like a month ago. Uh, as Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Uh, in, in costume as Dr. Evil, and people were saying, oh, this is like, he, he's getting people ramped up for, uh, <clears throat> for a new Austin Powers movie. And that would be really cool, actually. I would love to see that. Okay. Even though he's really old now, Mike Myers is really old. And he's making so much money off of Shrek and everything else that he's ever done that he probably doesn't need to do another Austin Powers movie. But it would be nice. If it was good, it would be nice. I know they get sillier and sillier with each installment. But uh, a good Austin Powers movie would be nice. And I think he wants to redeem himself after like the Love Guru. Has he really done anything to redeem himself yet since the Love Guru? I'm not sure. Nothing that comes to the top of my brain just yet. Um, and speaking of coming to something, not to the top of my brain, but to the end of the stream, we've come to the end of the stream. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, is we've come to the end of the stream. Today was a little bit of a short one. Uh, not to be confused with Hot Ones, the interview channel show on YouTube, but a short one. Uh, which is the stream, 
has been a short one. Tomorrow I will be back with more streaming and we will be editing these photos and there will be less, fewer, there will be fewer interruptions and there will be more work and it will be more productive and it will be more fun. So top that. Hot Wheels beat that. Actually, no, I don't think I'm allowed to quote that because I'll, now I'm gonna, God, now I'm gonna get sued by Hot Wheels. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna end the stream there. Blah, 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 bye.